Good day, mates. Hey, last year. Welcome back to Vandal Hearts. It's been a while, hasn't it? Anyway, this bell here can be a little tricky for obvious reasons. We're stuck in the middle of this uh, prison courtyard. There's no real way out of here, and it's four of us people versus the rest of the prison here. Generally, what you want to do in this battle is basically... We're going to look around the map here. Granger there, that there, that there. There's a warlock over here. Here's there. Warlock here. Healer there, just in case. And I'm actually gonna try something that I haven't done this battle before. Well, I've done part of this strategy before, but I'm gonna stick Clint here, basically. And he'll face that way. What the idea here is going to be is that I'm going to be shifting most of my forces to the left here. Over here. I'm not going to be focusing on engaging the foes that are in the courtyard at this time. What I'm hoping to accomplish here. Eh. Dang, mouse controls. Is that... There. We'll stick a game on there. And I'll face that way, just in case I manage to lower this grenader here. So that Clint takes fewer shots. Meanwhile... I'm actually going to stick a lane over here. Let's see if this can reach. Hold on. Hmm. Actually. Can she reach over there? Not really. Hmm. I'm gonna stick a link there. And Darius, you don't have any items. I think I'll stick you here. Yeah. So we're going to be focusing more on defense. I'm going to zoom out so I can see everything better. And turn over. Meanwhile. Alright, as expected. Darius is definitely going to die in this battle. Don't rely on him too much. And... Okay, so Granger did not take the bait. Oh, that Granger can't reach. So I guess in a way I succeeded. Okay, it's going for Darius. Okay, he's definitely dead. Good job, Darius. You served as a distraction. Because in this mission, Clint cannot die. If he does, it's game over. Probably a good thing that that Centurion went for Amon. There we go. Good job, Amon.
On your first try through this battle, you're almost certain to lose somebody. Even on subsequent tries, you're very easily able to lose somebody. Ah. Lovely. Speak up! <laughs> Ash here to the rescue. I've decided for the series that I'm not going to read along the dialogue any longer, purely because it will be done faster if I don't read. Come on. Still getting used to keyboard controls here. And the fact that this is an isometric game and hitting up goes up right, but hitting left or right goes left goes up left and hitting right goes down. Okay. Yeah, anyway. So I guess what I was hoping to accomplish here is that... Hold on. Okay, so Ash can move to about where Dolan is. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Come on. I'm just going to want to move her to where uh, Clint is. And I want to move... Clint up further. Like, say... Here. That way, no one can attack from this edge, as my guys come from there. The only way Scrayer can attack is if he goes here. Okay. Engage the phase shift. Exactly why I'd hoped for. And that was more than I hoped for. Yep, level 17 indeed. And with a few more experiences to spare. Alright, now. I'm expecting that this guy will be able to. Okay, he won't be able to move Clint. Neither will really that guy. Actually, wanting Amon to survive. Er. It'd be nice if he survived. Anyway. I move him there. Everyone else can. move up. close to the front so that if, say, when he's this Centurion moves down or something, I'll be able to, like, go behind him and stab him in the back. But yeah, why am I not using square? <sighs> ah, curse haven't not played this game in... Ugh, a while. Damn it, man. 
Okay. Now we can do this. As expected. I had hoped for that to happen. And the guys in the pit. Well, okay, Lady might be in danger. Thankfully, she's a little harder than she looks. And... I kind of expected that to happen. I did not expect that specifically to happen. Good job, Dolan. Ah, uh, of course you're healing, punk. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world at least. Stick Diego here. That way he can retrieve item that's here. Dolan is just gonna truck straight forward. Hopefully he'll distract. Now, what I'd hope to do is that I will. Hmm. You know, one game I've played a while that kind of spoiled me, actually, in terms of these tactics games is Disgaea. Specifically the second game. Basically what you can do in that game is that you can, like, move everybody and declare what they're gonna do, but they don't necessarily do the things straight away. Like, if I were to have Huxley heal, for example, like Clint, he wouldn't immediately do it, but he'd be put on hold so that he could activate all the actions at once. Games like that kind of spoiled me here. But alas, it's not necessarily meant to happen in that way. Now, I think I'm gonna have Lane do this one more time. Before I begin, a couple of things here. Hmm, huh, that's weird. She one-shot the one with phase shift, but that one, she just did not as much damage. There is something weird about magic in this game. It does less damage as you level up. Bizarre occurrence, really. And time to have a mon service as a distraction. There we go. Hmm. I think Clint might be able to handle this. He'll probably get attacked twice, but hopefully Amon is a better uh, bait than Clint is. And let's see. Okay, he's better bait. Because Amon blocked. And 
That one's going for Laney. Not so good. Because there's a good chance that Laney's going to die. Or maybe not. Okay, maybe she is. Well, at least she leveled up to level 18 before getting stroked by the rainbow. On the downside, got this to contend with. for action. I'm going to have him attack right from here. Or not. That happens too. Another salt worthy item. But maybe I can jab this guy in the back. There we go. Goodbye, Strucker. Interesting fact about this map the only one that's allowed to die. I mean, Ash is allowed to. Usually he's not allowed to die, but in this. He can, without penalty, other than losing money for a lost person. So, feel free to use some in reckless abandon like I'm doing right now. And in case you are afraid of him dying painfully, go ahead and throw a mystic shield on him. Like so. I don't feel like dealing with Rainbow Stroke Man, so we're going to just roll and fire him right now. Hopefully kill him. And so we do. We also got that guy. Oh yeah. Have an item. Okay, he's got a mega herb. What I'm gonna have him do is I'm gonna heal Amon with it just in case Amon gets counterattacked. Attack from the side, should hit. Kills in one hit, good. Clint will level up and level 17 soon. That's a good sign. Let's continue. Unfortunately, I've attracted the attention of Rainbow Stroker number two. Oh boy. And Ash is paralyzed. Oh boy.
paralyze people for the uninitiated basically means that you can't take an action unless you are cured. So allow us to immediately cure him. Well, okay, maybe not with Huxley. I'll do it with Sarah. I would use the weaker healing spell, but it's not so effective when you level up further. So, healing plus it is. Hmm, I don't know why Huxley is at 16, but. Eh, whatever. I was getting this habit now, rather than later, because... Well, in the second game, there is friendly fire. Thankfully, in this one, there isn't. So... 18. have Dolan attack this one. If anyone can kill the bats, it's probably Dolan. And so Dolan does. And unfortunately Grog did it. Grog is also probably going to die if I don't save him. No, don't end your turn prematurely. And we're going to Roman fire this population again, like so. Sure, it won't do much damage to heal, but more I can weaken the bat sink kill bats like that, the less I've got to worry. Now, there's a spot over here that interests me, this one specifically. We're gonna gun for that spot. And Amon's gonna die trying, maybe. I'm just gonna move Clint over here a ways. And no one else has gotta go, so let's turn over. Hmm. Amon is lucky. And Ostroke doesn't kill him quite as much. Frog is also lucky that he did not die. Or that the bat didn't bother going for his back. Among other things. Okay, good. Demas is going from over there. on get this spot and a key that is the third key of the keys that we need to get get my items other image oil nope not useful to have since Lainey is gone just a clip there just because...
will have Huxley healing plus, uh, hold on. Oh, not bless. He's hit. We'll do the four-way here, so that Krog can get hit, so can Dole damage. So hard doesn't need it, but hey, it happens. Frog benefits, but so does Huxley. So, what I'm gonna do is basically... Well, that works. I guess. Magic informs Zohar anyway. And now we turn over. Rainbow Stroker is gonna go for Amon again. Predictable. On the plus side, I don't think I've got to worry about anything. As if I want to prevent Amon from dying. can easily just stab this guy in the throat a bunch of times, or not quite kill him. That works too, but at least couldn't move up from it, so it's not that much of a waste. Good chance I won't kill that warlock. Cause what I'm gonna do is gonna basically involve. Let's check out his stat, shall we? He has self-healing. That means is we can pounce on him. Purple chain is dangerous! Note self, don't do that again. Eh, it's worth it. Why not?
should have had Huxley do it. Eh, whatever. Could be worse. I'll leave Ash do nothing. Warlock is going for Amon. Goodbye, Amon. Alright, so Dumas can continue his assault. Or Duma, or Dumbass. Whatever you want to call him. He is quite powerful, though, so despite the name, don't mock him too terribly much. Otherwise, shit like that happens. Where your armor man takes over half of his health in damage. This can happen, though. Diego was meant to do this whole time. That's right, Clint. Finish him off like the mule that he is. Wait, what? Hmm. Got an idea. I'd like to use a couple of these. We're gonna show this off. I think I've shown it before, but... Stone shower is fun. Just drop a bunch of rocks on the person. Because they, my friend, cast the first stone. And Huck and Dolan finishes him off. Guac! He really loves avocados, doesn't he? An armor guy. He gave us a robe. Curious. I wonder if he was such a chump. Other than the fact that he killed Grog. Poor Grog. And everyone in the pit but Clint died. Well. Wow. That mission didn't take quite as long as I expected. A godsend, really. And a reunion at last. <laughs> Low class voice, huh? Well, there's old man Hobbs. into a chicken. That's... You know, there's a mage in a... a place called, uh... Mariana that, uh... he could be good friends with, uh, Huxley. He tends to turn people into chickens as well. And Diego, ever the, uh, mediator. But at least, everything went according to plan. And that, my friends, was Chapter 3 of Endel Hots. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.